One of the Colts rookies that is not just expected to contribute, but produce on Sunday, that's A.D. Mitchell. Talk to A.D. Mitchell about nerves, about the excitement of playing, what his expectations are, and then toward the end, Michael Pittman Jr. makes a cameo and talks to us about A.D. Mitchell. I mean, first game, opening up with a with a uh, in-conference opponent, in the division, at home, stadium going to be rocking, everybody excited, so, I mean, I ain't really got much to say after that. you feel a lot more comfortable doing the slot stuff now that you've at least got a sure. few weeks doing it? Yeah, for sure. Does your possibility of the role change with, with Josh out or not? Um, I mean, no, nah, we kind of... Kind of, yeah, no, in a in a way. Um, we just, I mean, it's always next man up mentality. If I go down, somebody else got to step in and fill the role, fill the gap. So, so, so. I mean, just the whole receiving room. I feel like we we compete with each other, but at the same time, we're very close. And you know, it's kind of like, okay. AP go out there and make a play. All right, now who's next? Like, who going to be the next man to make the play? Um, so, you know, we just, we always together. Like, we, it's, it's, it's a very close receiver group. Um, oh, competition fuel everybody. Like, it's, either you're going to step up or you're going to back down. And I don't think anybody in this locker room backing down for competition. So. Did it ease anything or make you more comfortable since you already scored in Cincinnati? I mean, it was the preseason, but did that take any weight off your shoulders at all? Um, I mean, it got my feet wet a little bit. Uh, I call it touchdown number zero. But um, I mean, no, I'm just I'm just ready to go out there, just have fun with my dogs. Um, not really worried about stats, not worried about touchdowns. Just worried about you know when the opportunity presents itself, be able to take advantage of it and just play for each other. Really, that's it. Are nerves a part of your pregame ritual in the past, or how do you think you'll, you'll just kind of tackle this new experience? Um, I mean, it's my first real game, so we go see. Uh, I, we we've been through the schedule about three times now, so um, I feel like it'll be the same. But you know, never know. Boys, like last year, your first home game in front of a hundred thousand people. I mean, what, what, were you nervous for that? Um, I'm nervous every game. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm nervous. I'm nervous right now. I mean, it just is what it is. Uh, I'm pretty much nervous all the way up until I get to the game, get a couple snaps in. And I'm like, okay, cool, we we ready. But, yeah, that ain't going to go away. First game last year, opened up against Rice. I was out there sweating. For real. <laughs> you sleep good? Oh, nice yeah, I sleep game. great. <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't got no trouble with that. So the yeah. nervousness that doesn't affect your sleep? Or uh-uh, you know? uh-uh. Okay. Nah, yeah. I get, make sure I take care of my body. Um, but definitely nervous. That ain't that ain't gonna go nowhere. I'm so gonna like, be nervous your team. Is it like pads on? Is it just like walking out like for warm up the first time? Like when just, does it like really like kick in for you? Um, like the nerves? Yeah. I mean, just like you you never know what can happen on that field. You know, it's 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 not really a predictable sport. So, um, you know, just the the confidence really comes from preparation. But I could prepare all day. I could go out there, watch as much film, catch all the jugs in the world, and I'm still go out there and have to perform. So it's really just that that part of it is the nervousness, for sure. For you, are you a guy who you want that contact first? Like, that's where you kind of settle in, whether it's a uh, or whatever? Really just the first play. Like, once I, get, once I get past that first play, first block, first catch, like, first anything, I'm like, okay, I'm good now. Like, we ready. So. Do you have any pregame rituals? In school that you're gonna carry over now into the NFL. Um, I mean, I feel like it's it's kind of the same. Just got a little more time. Um, and, you know, we got guys like Pitt that'll help me out. You know, really lean on yeah. my little bro right here, man. Jim Bob too. So uh, Jim Bob. Yeah, Jim actually, Bob. Jim Bob. For sure. He actually goes over to Jim Bob's house mm-hmm. and that dinner together. Yeah, we uh we we so also read AD books. AD Cooter, right here. Yeah. Pitt, yeah. how excited are you to see? Oh, I mean, I think that he's going to do great. Um, 
everything from OTAs training camp to now. I just like he's like been uh, great, and like we're just excited to see it like in live action. He said that the receiver group's very close knit. Yeah, is that you kind of exerting some leadership in there? Yeah, no, I mean like I think that he lied because like I really I don't even like this guy. I mean like, like just, just like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I can't stand him. No, yeah, I mean like like we have fun. Uh, we actually had dinner at uh, my house last night, so just having like, everybody over and just, just like having fun again. You living vicariously through him right now, just like recounting your your first go. Yeah, I mean, I mean, honestly, that like, he probably going to do better than my first game. Like I had two catches for like ten yards, but he probably going to do better. Well, no, that's a great game. Hey, well, appreciate that. I mean, shoot, like at like the time it was yeah. career high. <laughs> <laughs> How about Michael Pittman Jr.? He, there's nothing he loves to do more than video bomb. And, and getting kind of a twofer there with Mitchell and with Pittman, I think speaks to sort of the, the way, and Mitchell alluded to it, how close that room is and how close these guys are. 